You are listening to Sacred Hearts of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's evening prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O living bread from heaven, we thank you for watching over us through the day. Sacred Heart Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we pray that you watch over us as we sleep tonight. Bless us with the covering of your Holy Spirit, our Sacred Heart, our Lord. Adorable and precious heart, grant that your grace may come and quiet our hearts. We seek comfort and refuge in touch your gentle heart, O Sacred Heart of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity, to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us. We often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred hearts. Amen. O Sacred Heart, what could we bring to you in order to give you thanks? For as the day progressed, you provided for us beyond measure. Your generous heart gave to us with that condition. Even though you have every right to demand from us. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, we offer you all hearts and pray that you place them in your sacred heart. Allow us to dwell in your sacred heart so that we may be transformed in such a way that tomorrow we will awaken with a burning desire to love you and serve you day and night. O oh, blessed sacrament, the tabernacle of our hearts desperately needs you. Without you it is cold and empty, but with you it comes to life. Here we are, Lord, we prostrate before you, knowing that your mercy will cover us with unending blessings because of your unending grace. Let us be a blessing to those around us. Amen. Amen. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people, that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be opened and they may become your followers. And Jesus, we pray for all bishops, especially we pray for Archbishop Brown, 
we pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, and all people. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are sick, especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, neurological diseases, neuromuscular diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who are grieving. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Lord, have mercy. Merciful Father, with your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Lord, have mercy. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy. The gift of distinguishing between spirits. The gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues. The gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, we pray that you bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord, have mercy. Lord Christ, in your mercy, you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Lord, have mercy. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. Lord, have mercy. King of peace. As you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I, send me. Look kindly upon your servants gathered here today, and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. Lord, have mercy. And now as O Lord... Jesus Christ has taught us we are bold to say. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you, O sacred heart, for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your hearts, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory, to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's evening prayer. I am so glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope you'll be able to join us tomorrow when we do morning, afternoon, and evening prayer. And that you will be able to join us on a daily basis as we do these prayers every day, three times a day, God willing and technology allowing. If you like to submit a prayer request, or if you like to find out more about our ministry, come by our website at sacredheartsjesus.org. That is sacredheartsjesus.org. Also, if you will take a second of your time and share this prayer with as many people as you can. There's someone out there right now who might be thinking the unthinkable. There's someone out there, out there right now who might be feeling a great deal of pain, of pain and suffering in their heart. They're not telling anyone. No one knows but themselves. And of course, God. And God is trying to reach out to these people, trying to touch their hearts. And the noise around them keeps on getting on their way. But imagine that person coming before the computer or their cell phone or their tablet or their device and simply going through the websites and whatnot and that they come across these prayers. And out of curiosity that they click on the link and push the button and listen to the prayer and upon hearing the prayer the heart turns to Jesus. Imagine that. That is what could happen if you took one second of your time and click on the share button of your application. You could be reaching out to a person that might not otherwise have the opportunity to open up their hearts to Jesus that they may be saved as we are being saved. So it is critical that we share this verse. It is critical that we share all things Jesus. It only takes one second of your time, but that one second could mean a lifetime of difference to someone else out there. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the evening, and I'll see you later.